Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Up Data, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we are checking out something which is truly unique in the city builder strategy genre, and that is Against the Storm. That's right. Um, let's jump into things and then let's chat about how it is unique. Uh, first of all, the weirdest thing is that you play the game on both a macro and a micro level. Uh, this is the macro level, uh, I guess, uh, and there's this city, which is the, the center of everything. There are some story elements uh, to this game. Basically, uh, the world is in a state of perpetual stormage. Uh, or storming, stormage, storming, whatever, you, you get the picture, uh, and you need to fight against that. And this is the smoldering city, the last vestige of warmth that is left in the world. Anyway, uh, there's a whole tech tree here, uh, which we are going to be exploring, uh, which we are going to be exploring throughout. Now, we don't actually have anything uh, at the moment to spend on this tech tree. We don't have any artifacts, we don't have any food stockpiles, and we don't have any machinery, uh, but that's fine. We'll we'll unlock that uh, a little bit later on. We don't have any deeds either. We can level up, we can get some trade routes going, etc, etc, etc. It's going to be, it's going to be great. Anyway, that's that. This is here. Now, uh, what we can do is we can actually choose where to build our city, and I honestly think... Maybe, maybe we will build, maybe we will build our first city right over yonder. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have a little look at what's going on. Uh, so, first and foremost, we play in this area. We play in this area, the, the area that is highlighted, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can, uh, that we can get as a reward. Look at that, 14 stockpiles, a few machinery, bits and bobs, some experience. Uh, it is going to be a woodland town, which is completely fine. Uh, difficulty is uh, on normal, length, etc. There's a couple of modifiers as well, which give us uh, details of the weather. There's some additional effects, ruined settlement, uh, fine. And there's also a gift of the woodlands, which is okay. We just need to bear that in mind. It's not super important for right now. It doesn't really matter. Don't need to explain it. Anyway, uh, there's a little there's a little distribution over what resources are here, what resources are not here, or what are less uh, or what are less occur int, uh, Orbyville, sure. Let's go for Orbyville, and let's just jump on into things. Uh, we've got embark bonuses here, uh, which is some roots, some wood, and some eggs. Right, brilliant. Let's jump into things. Uh, so... This game is a city builder. There's some forest mysteries. These are a bunch of modifiers that will play on this specific, uh, on this specific level. Uh, what have we got here? Uh, clearing buzz with cricket sounds. Gain 30 insects for each discovered glade. Three to mushroom production. Gain additional mushrooms for every yield. Fine. Heavy drops. Five to spark dew production. Okay. Looming darkness. Rampaging storm stifles. Stacks hostility levels. Fine. Rotting wood. Woodcutters cut trees 50% faster, but have 100% chance to destroy their yield. Rain causes trees to rot apart. Active from hostility during two storm. Okay. And nauseous spores. Uh, fulfill at least the following needs of services. Okay, fine. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not super important for what we what we need to consider at the moment. Anyway, as ever, I will try to explain what the heck is going on, and uh, and we'll get to it. Okay, so this game is super super cool. At the moment, we're starting with a bunch of food. We're starting with a bunch of building materials. We're starting with some parts, and we are starting with some wood and some coal, both of which will be initially anyway used to power our hearth. We've got nine residents of this lovely little settlement. We've got three humans, we've got three beavers, and we've got three lizards. All of these different races are good at different things. Humans uh, are, adapt, are adept at farming and love to cook. Beavers are hardworking, peaceful, honest people. Gifted woodworkers enjoy working with rain punk technology. And lizards prefer to war uh, work in warm environments due to their cold-blooded nature. So we will need to take that into account when we are ex uh, assigning exactly where they should work. Uh, the modifiers we've already talked about, the storm cycle. Um, so it's drizzling at the moment. There's going to be a clearance in four minutes. That's fine. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of buildings to go through, all of which we are going to talk about in turn. But it's probably initially worth talking about the blueprint sort of structure 
here and the way in which the game is played. Uh, at the bottom here, we've got two meters. One is the queen's impatience and the other is the reputation meter. Uh, every time we hit one of these blue markers, we get a blueprint re reward, which is going to allow us to pick up another brand new building. Uh, conversely, if the queen's impatience reaches max, then uh, I believe uh, it's over. Uh, so we got to be we got to be real careful, and we need to make sure that we are always on the right side of the queen. There's a whole bunch of areas that we can explore. We don't want to explore these areas too prematurely because there is a little danger there and that's probably going to end up costing us something uh but yeah certainly exploration is uh is something that we are going to want to consider that's the basics of it let's see if we can try and get cracking see what we can actually build uh first things first let's get some wood cutting camps down and the reason that we need wood cutting camps down is because we are going to want to try and explore See if we can try and explore some of these some of these areas. Uh, let's also see if we can try and start extracting some of these small root deposits. And the way in which we do that is with a stone cutter's camp. We are going to need a little bit more wood before we're going to be able to build that. But you know what? We can zone it now. It's not necessarily a big deal. There we go. The woodcutter's camp has been built. And of course, we are going to assign three beavers to the woodcutter camp because let's be let's be brutally honest uh beavers are the most qualified for this job uh by a wide margin right so as i promised i'm just gonna set some trees to be chopped down which should happen nice and quickly shouldn't really take too long at all I'll tell you what we can also get a path or two set up Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so we've got a path going. That's wonderful. Uh, we're working on exploring these glades. That is technically what they're called. Glades. And we're also working on the stonecutters camp, which is going to allow us to extract some roots. Now, we can move these buildings if we need to. It's uh, very, very easy to do so. And so we'll consider doing that in just a moment. Same with picking up the buildings. We'll worry about that in just a second. Uh, for now, uh, we get to pick a cornerstone. The queen offers you a cornerstone that will lay the foundation for your town's prosperity. So, uh, occasionally, occasionally we get one of these cornerstones, the queen's blessing things, and this allows us this allows us to get a to get a modifier usually, uh, which is quite nice. So, what do we got here? Value added tax, gain two amber for every five pack of trade goods produced. Well, trade goods and amber are both things that we probably need to talk about. Neither is particularly relevant, or I think particularly good right now. Alternatively, fiber delivery line. Five plant fiber per minute for free. I mean, that's pretty freaking decent. Let's go with that. That sounds like a great idea to me. Yeah, that seems particularly brilliant. Right, how's this coming along? The Stonecutter's Camp is working just fine. What else have we got in this clearing here? I don't think that we've got anything else. Oh, no, tell a lie. We've got a flax field which can be, which can be got at with via a scavenger's camp, which I think I'm going to place right now. I don't think that we have a huge need for this at the moment. But that's okay. All right, what do we got here? Aha! One of the most interesting and important aspects of the game are orders. And these unlock in, uh, in a set time frame. And we get a couple of missions that we can choose between. Scavenger's camp and a stonecutter's camp. We'll get parts and clay. Okay. Uh, trading post and amber. And we get tools, parts, and a box of grain. I think we're going to go for this. Because, I mean, we basically already have it. I mean, once the scavenger camp is built, we'll, we'll be there. Uh, what about the second order? Copper ore, small farm, and a farm field. Well, we don't have a farm we don't have a small farm at the moment. Uh, that's one of the weird things. You don't actually start the game with a farm. However, I do like the ambition of it. Uh, and we also get two humans if we complete this mission accordingly, which is kind of nice. Advanced smelting. That gives us a modifier to smelting. That's pretty cool. Uh, right, let's not worry about that quite yet. The reason that I'm not going to worry about that quite yet is... Let's get two lizards there. Sure. Uh, the reason that I'm not going to worry about that quite yet is because... We haven't picked our we haven't picked our buildings yet. Before we pick our buildings, I want to get a few more bits of infrastructure down. I want to get some homes down. Homes are places to live for three people a piece. Uh, I should also point out that each class has got their has got a different level of resolve, 
and that is this green bar stuff here. So we need to be careful that that doesn't drop too low, because if it does, bada bim, bada boom, people decide to leave, and leaving sucks. Uh, whenever people leave or people die, uh, the queen's impatience grows even faster, which is less than ideal. Get a human assigned over there, and then let's actually seriously look at a blueprint. A small farm is is easy to do. Trappers, a trapper's camp is, is not a bad idea. I love the idea of a small farm, actually. I, I really, really do. But we should at least wait before exploring some of these glades first to see what we've got. Now, this thing... Ooh, what do we got here? Flax field, fertile soil, and a small encampment. The small encampment is going to allow us to get new people or to get reputation and amber. And all we need to do is give them... Insects? I mean, we have, like, a lot of insects. Oh, yeah, we've got that insect modifier, don't we? Yeah, we got plenty of insects. Okay, let's, uh, welcome new people. And that's gonna cost us basically nothing. So we've got the Slick Shell Broodmother, which we can harvest via a Trapper's Camp. Or, alternatively, there is Moss Broccoli, which we can... which we can get via a Forager's Camp. Plus, I also saw... There was some fertile soil over here. Aha, uh -huh, that's great. Okay, because we've got fertile soil, I'm going to pick up a farm. And then we get the option to either get a forager's, a trapper's, or a herb garden. I think... I think we're going to go... I think we're going to go trapper's. Let's go trapper's. Bakery, herb garden. You know, we don't need to, we don't need to pick this now. That's not a problem at all. Uh, we've already completed one of our missions. That's pretty freaking great. I think I'm now going to pick this up, given that I know that I've got the small farm, and I would love to get a group of humans uh, arriving super early. That would be great. And then, what is this here? Herbalist's camp. We do not have that, and we don't have the option of that. Woodcutter's camp, two of those, and 30 wood in the stockpile in order to get a brand new beaver and a few other bits and bobs. I think we're going to be taking that. All right. So if it's all a bit much... Don't worry about it. Hey, look at that. We got another blueprint. We, are, we arrived at the... Uh, we arrived where we needed to arrive. That's that's great. Right. To give my woodcutters something to do, they, they will cut down trees automatically, but I'll give them I'll give them an objective to get through to this glade here. It seems pretty good. Hey, look at that. Uh, it is. It is clearance time, so everyone's resolve should hopefully increase a little bit. A little smidgeroni. And what we're going to do is we are going to see if we can try and get ourselves our first proper food production area. And that is going to be the farm. I think we're going to put it here. Uh, we are going to be building on one bit of fertile. Uh, actually, no. You know what? I'll just leave that there. That's fine. Uh, yeah, place down the farm. The farm is not buildable yet because we don't have planks. But we do have a way to make planks. We'll worry about that in just a second. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a trading post. We'll get a trading post in just a sec, but I'm looking for the farm field. That's it. There we go. So that should get built, and that should get built pretty swiftly. Uh, storage. We don't have the ability to build storage yet. What was I looking for? Ah, yes. I was looking for a crude workstation. So crude workstation is built with wood, and it can produce planks fabric and bricks. I would point out though, it does happen at a ridiculously slow rate. So if we're able to pick up another building that makes planks better, then we will. Bakery. Uh, what do we get at the farm? What do we what do we produce at the farm here? We produce grain. So I tell you what, picking up a bakery is probably not a bad idea. It is going to it is going to take some more advanced resources to actually to actually work, but that's fine. Um, the problem is, is that we need an intermediate step, or we need an intermediary step, because we need flour. Flour plus something gives us biscuits or pies, and the flour is made at a lumber mill, a rain mill, a stamping mill, or a provisioner. I'm gonna take the bakery. I'm gonna take the bakery, but that means that we do still need to find something else first. Furnace will allow us to make bricks very, very well. I, I would love a lumber mill, though. I would love a lumber mill. 
Supplier will allow us to make fabric, pottery, or pack of trade goods. Smokehouse. I don't think I'm really interested in the smokehouse. That being said, I do have the ability. I do have a lot of insects. Insects and meat. Uh, do I have the ability to get the Slickshell Broodmother things? The Trapper's Camp? I do have the Trapper's Camp. So maybe, maybe by that logic, maybe by that logic a smokehouse is actually not bad. The supplier? Ah, you know what? I'm going to pick up the smokehouse. Sure. That seems like a, that seems like a great idea to me. Right, this farm is really, really crucial to all of my projects. It really, really is. Let's get a path up here. Oh, can we not build through? Uh, okay, we can't build through. We cannot build through trees. That's okay, we'll set this to be deconstructed. And we'll, we'll get to work on that. Also, we got a glade over here. What do we got? We have got... A small abandoned crate. 20 flour, 10 fabric, 8 parts. We don't have any tools to send over to this crate, unfortunately, at this moment in time. So we're just going to have to deal with it, I guess. That's... That's fine. We're just going to have to live with it. We're just going to have to live with it. Also, I think that we still have a couple of people. Yeah, we've got one lizard and one beaver. That are currently homeless. So let's get that fixed. And we'll get you sorted. Right. Crude workstation. It's time to start making. It's time to start making planks. And actually fabric too. It's going to take an absolutely. Terribly long time. But it's worth it. Uh, so because. Because this building is a crude workstation, it takes a long time to do absolutely anything at all. But I mean, look, there's nothing that we can there's nothing that we can do. We haven't been offered any buildings that will help accelerate this process. So we're just gonna have to sort of deal with it, I guess. It's it's fine. Small farm is not buildable, of course, until we get those two planks up and running. So it would be nice if we could do that. Uh woodcutters camp and wood. Oh yeah, we need to get another woodcutters camp, don't we? And in fact, it's not necessarily going to be super difficult to do. We need to probably get a second one anyway. And we'll build through here. Trying to sort of paint a route that uses a minimal amount of effort, energy, and time. There we go. Okay. That's that's pretty that's pretty great. Uh how much clay do we have? We got a bit of clay, apparently. Well, that's kind of nice, I suppose. Uh, we don't really need a super large amount of uh, flax, plant fibers, whatever. Uh, we don't really need them because we do have that route, that supply route that we've got that comes every once in a while. So that's pretty nice. Do need to build a path here, though in order to supply the farm slightly more swiftly. Uh, do we want to do... No, we want to do vegetables. We don't want to do grain quite yet. The reason that I don't want to do grain uh, is because we have no way of processing that grain into flour. So that's fine. Let's get a human to work at this trapper camp, and we will start extracting a little bit of meat from this brood mother shell. We still have a couple of people that are homeless, so let's increase the prioritization of this house. And that's cool. All right, some more orders have been unlocked. Ten beavers. And keep beaver resolve above 50 for 30 seconds. That's, that's a toughie. And that'll give us a lumber mill, though. Boy, we need a lumber mill. We need a lumber mill. I think we're going to take this. Yeah. This is going to be a challenge because we have no guaranteed way of getting beavers. We have also no guaranteed way of getting a brewery. So, you know what? Let's pick that up. Besides, I'd love a lumber mill. That would be so, so helpful. Okay. Clothing or pack of crops. Uh, both of these things can be manufactured. Not super difficultly. 
human clan support. After the Great Civil War, three uh, species are locked in constant struggle to gain the queen's, queen's favor. Human resolve. That's probably going to be handy, right? And pack of crops is actually not super difficult to, to make. All right, we'll, we'll pick that up. We'll pick that up. That's, that's actually very, very okay. We're going to be finishing up with this woodcutter's mission in just a second. So that's great. I'm a little bit worried at the rate of our exploration. That's the only thing that sort of worries me. Need to maybe up our game a little bit. I say up our game. I need to up my game. I have nobody to blame but myself. Let's get this. Let's get this moved. There we go. The golden trees are the trees that are going to be chopped. Shouldn't take too long to do at all. Our homelessness issue should be fixed immediately. That's great. The hearth, which is in the center of the village, uh, keeps everyone warm which I guess is kind of obvious, and we need to make sure that we keep uh, a whole bunch of wood uh, in the hearth. It's very, very important. We still have a few parts. That's grand. We don't have any tools yet. That's fine. And thank goodness the season and the year, in fact, has, uh, has finished. So what do we got? What do we got here? Uh, orders, no new orders. We do have a cornerstone to pick up. All camps production is increased by 50%. Uh... But all buildings using their fertile soil have their yield decreased by 50%. That's a no-go, I'm afraid. Results matter more than villager health. 30% to global production speed, but villagers have a plus 3% chance of dying every three, every 60 seconds. Um, I hate both of those, but I'm going to take the one that involves villager death because I just feel like that's cool. Uh, right, storage. We can get a storage set up. We can get a makeshift hearth. Yeah, or we can get a trading post. Yeah, I think I'm going to build a trading post because, uh, well, we should get one. Let's get that set up. Could we build this, please? Could we prioritize this as a as a priority right now? I Yeah, we've got one lizard, which is currently doing all of the hauling. Uh, we kind of need more people. Oh, look at that. That's an opportunity to get more people. We got some newcomers. We get newcomers each and every year, which is quite nice. Uh, sent by the crown. Two humans, one beaver, or lizards as well? I, I think we're actually going to take two humans and one beaver. We need to hit ten beavers, if you can recall. Uh, so that's kind of the most pressing priority. Lizards are, you know, without meaning to sound offensive, uh, a bit more picky about what they decide to do. Uh, their resolve is slightly lower if I send them outside. Uh, so I got to be, I got to be real careful. Let's pick up some humans to do the farming operation. Let's get two humans, I guess. Sure. Oh, look at that. We got two orders that are ready to complete at the same time. That is brilliant. Two more humans. Some fabric and some goods. We'll deliver that. And we've also got a beaver, three parts, and ten roots that are coming our way. Okay, so we're good for food. We're good for building materials. We're good for crafting resources. Uh, we are okay for wood. Not super great, but we're okay. Two more beavers. That's fine. Low on fuel. I know, I know, I know, I know. The beavers can access this area, which is good. Oh, no. A beaver died because they were overworked. And that, that happens. I mean, that's the perk that we picked up, right? It's not much of a perk, but it is, it is what we have to deal with. Ooh, a human house. Building specifically for humans. It has two places. A furnace will allow us to produce bricks, copper bars, and pie. Or a supplier. Um, I hate all of these things, actually. The human house may be least. But to be honest, I would love to reroll. I'd love to reroll these. But unfortunately... Oh, I did have ember. Oh, nice. Okay, well, we rerolled, and that was pretty great. Granary. Pack of crops, pack of provisions, mush soup, a lumber mill. Now, I've got a lumber mill that's coming my way anyway. However, we need to produce coats, don't we? No, we don't need to produce coats. We need to produce pack of, uh, pack of crops. Well, we're going to pick a granary. A granary, I think? I think we're going to pick a granary because we need to produce pack of crops. So we'll do that. Brewery, a carpenter. What are we actually getting here? We're getting a lumber mill. 
It's going to give us planks at the best rate possible. That's cool. All right. Granary and smokehouse. Oh, yeah. I've, I've completely forgotten about the smokehouse. Let's, let's see if we can try and deploy the smokehouse. Oh. What do we got going on here? Oh, we've got some trading opportunities. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. And we also opened up a brand new, a brand new glade. Very cool. Uh, I am running low on wood, which is concerning. I'll tell you what part of the problem probably is, is that we have not limited the number of planks that we can get. Unlimited fabric, that's fine. Unlimited bricks, not a problem at all. But yeah, eight planks is quite a lot of planks. So we gotta be we gotta be real careful. All right. Trader arrived and we still need to pick a new blueprint. Uh do I really wanna make a do I really wanna make a decision on this? Ale? What is ale made with? Grain? We've got pottery. Pottery we can actually make, right? Yeah, pottery is made in a smokehouse. Pottery is made in a smokehouse. We've got the opportunity to make a uh, smokehouse. You know what? Let's ditch this. Get rid of this entire area here. Keep on exploring down this way. That's good. Uh, we also have a lot of people that are currently homeless. So let's pick up some more houses. There we go. That's going to end up having a pretty detrimental uh, effect. Because we do not have... We do not have enough wood at the moment. And that is a problem. Yeah, we're very, very low on the old on the old wood front, unfortunately. Right, traders left the village. Not, uh, not to worry. Not to worry. We will prevail. Okay, smokehouse needs to be built, but the good news is, is that it can it can actually be built relatively soon. I just need to get, I need to get a better place. A human farmer has died. Okay, I, I kind of hate the overtime production. Uh, the overtime modifier. That is kind of disastrously bad. Let's get... Let's get some... Let's get some more people joining the club, eh? Also, I think we might be able to get a brand new farm. Small farm. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. That's brilliant, in fact. That's really good. Yeah, and you're going to be solely working on grain. How about that? There we go. Right. Let's hope that the human farmers are uh, not too... Not too death prone. Rather, they stayed alive, thanks. Also queue this area up for deconstruction. And we'll get this moved over here. Cool. Human craftsman died. Okay, I need to get rid of overtime. In fact, I don't even think I can. 3% chance of dying every 60 seconds. This is going to end up torpedoing my, my freaking run. This is, this is very, very, very bad. All right, let's go into three times speed because I don't think that we need to worry about anything at the moment. Pack of crops. Oh, yeah, we can we can make pack of crops with the makeshift post, although I'd rather not because it's kind of garbage. And by kind of garbage, I mean it is absolutely garbage. It's very, very bad. Smokehouse, did we clear the way? We freaking didn't, did we? Let's build it there. That's a much better place for a smokehouse. Right, insects. Oh, my goodness. A lizard stonecutter died from overtime? Lizard stone cutter to replace him then, eh? Right. Pottery is clay plus wood. I think we're happy with both of these. Let's get a whole bunch of jerky. Let's get a whole bunch of whole bunch of pots. Let's get it built. Let's absolutely get it built. Right. A brewery? I mean a brewery is definitely on the cards. Barrels can be made at a alchemist hut cellar, a cooperage, a smithy, or an artisan. I mean, we're going to be using pots, right? But that will allow us to get uh, to get ale. We don't have a tavern, a, a tea doctor, a common hall guild house, or anything that can actually serve ale. But again, much like 
much like the uh the the not the not the brewery yes that the brewery is what we want yeah much like the much like the bakery that's right much like taking the bakery uh, as like a long-term play i feel like taking i feel like taking the brewery is a similarly long-term play but similarly will end up paying off let's put the smokehouse as the top priority let's uncover some more some more glades because each and every time we do that we apparently get more insects and that makes me happy insects are good let's check out the orders we've got three more orders to take building materials keep beavers resolve above 80 for 60 seconds i i do want that villager movement speed is increased by 10 that's actually super valuable sure building materials uh what do building materials actually cost hold on uh crude workstation makeshift post do i have one already scavengers camp i don't have a makeshift post already that's fine just place it place it down there that's okay right so in order to make a pack of building materials we can use fabric probably use fabric to be honest because we have an unlimited amount of fabric and that's going to give us what we need okay let's let's pick up the order then that gives us that gives us movement speed because i prefer that much much more right 20 trade goods or fulfill your villagers religion needs i have no idea how to fulfill religion needs or at least if i do it requires another building so we're gonna take trading goods because it's probably not super difficult rain collector spark dew or discover five more glades plus three to global resolve amber and some pottery crystal growth I guess we'll take that because, I mean, I'm a glade discovering machine. There we go. Let's get... Yeah. Let's get some more people. And also the Stonecutter's Camp has no... Has nowhere... Has nowhere to do any business. Let's move you up there. Cool. All right. There's quite a lot happening right now, to be fair. It's kind of to be expected. Scavengers, camp has no nearby deposits. Uh, flax up here. It's not exactly wonderful. That's the herbalist's camp. That's fine. Okay, there's a lot of building to get done. The smokehouse being completed is great. We don't really have a huge number of people, but thankfully... Uh, I think the year should be, I don't want to say coming to an end soon, but I, I hope it will be coming to an end soon. We've got a lot of missions that are currently on the go. Unfortunately, a shocking lack of beavers. Uh, do we have any planks? We do still have a lot of planks. That's fine. Smokehouse is done. Let's see if we can try and assign a lizard. I mean, is there... There we go. That's the interface that I was looking for. Where are the lizards currently working? Stonecutter's camp. Let's get them out of there. Let's get a beaver in there. And let's get... Two people working at the smokehouse. Just so that we can... Yeah, look at that. Increase in resolve. This is good news. And the year has ended. Brilliant. What do we got here? Herb and root production is increased by one. For every 50 biscuits produced. Well, we ain't going to produce any biscuits for a, a wee while. Each newcomer group has two additional villagers. I mean, that is huge because we are literally just about to pick up a newcomer group. I don't know if it's really made any impact to this group. I don't think it has, but that's fine. Let's pick up the one with two beavers. We're still on the hunt for a lot, a lot of beavers. So that's, that's, real, that's real good. That's important. Uh, let's get you out of there. Let's get a beaver in here and let's move... Let's move you over there. Let's discover some more glades. You can see what I'm trying to do. Not super effectively. 
All right, this is this is fine. Right, so there's a couple of other modifiers as well. The years, the years uh, make everyone more anxious. As you can see, hostility level one. The forest always watches. Things get miserable over time. I'm sure that I'm not uh, sure that I'm not telling anyone that. Right, we can have a little look at some of these trade routes, by the way. Uh, we don't have the opportunity to trade uh, anywhere because uh, we ain't got nothing we ain't got nothing at the moment that's fine we'll we'll end up changing that we'll end up changing that for sure uh what is going to give us this lumber mill i am so desperate for this lumber mill we need a few more beavers we need a few more beavers beavers resolve is actually in a very very good place right now can you believe it i cannot i'm pretty happy with that let's get a human working at this farm Let's get these. Let's get these beavers on the go here as well. Uh, we got quite a lot of available workers. We got three free humans. We got one free beaver and a couple of free lizards. Makeshift post. I mean, we can make pack of crops. We can. We do need to do that. Pack of crops and pack of trade goods. We can make both of these things. Pack of trade goods. We need twenty. So let's let's limit that to twenty. Sure. And then pack of crops. We should use vegetables. We're actually oh, we got plenty of food to be to be fair. Let's limit that to twenty as well. Pack of provisions we don't need to do anything with, but that's okay. I mean, we don't have many vegetables, and I don't think foragers camp. No, we don't have a foragers camp, so all of our all of our vegetable food is coming from. Is coming from this uh, this farm, which is fine. It's it's okay. What do we got here? Jubilee bush and uh, eight fertile soil. I mean that's nice. Uh, it's good, I guess. But kind of useless unless we get another farm. Let's get one lizard working working in here. Uh, we can, we can have a little look at the, we can have a little look at exactly what's going on. Combined effects plus one. Yeah, okay. Plus two. We're, we're, we're in a pretty good, good place with the, the beavers. Craftsman. Oh no. I can't believe it. That's a bit disappointing. Let's get you replaced. Uh, okay. Immediately Everyone is dying, apparently? That really sucks, uh, because our our impatience has increased a lot. That's, that's pretty nasty. And also, there was a trader, uh, which I probably should have looked at more thoroughly than I did, but it's, it's okay. Right. Vegetables are looking grand. Crops are looking good. We need... We need more crops. We really need, like, way more crops here. A human farmer has died from overtime? Oh, my lordy. Okay, that was really quick. It's making me reconsider assigning these humans to actually do any work. Bakery is still totally useless at the moment. I want to make pies and, and biscuits. Both of these things. I want both of them. And also, I want pottery, too. Come to think of it, we want, we want quite a lot of stuff. I am asking for, for quite a lot. Right, there we go. Access to some more glades coming up. We've already got one out of five. Let's keep up the pace, shall we? Aha, some orders. Let's pick our last two orders, shall we? A hundred education or discover six glades. It's going to give us pottery per minute. Uh, I'm gonna take that, yeah. Pottery per minute sounds pretty good. Brotherhood, fulfill your village's need for brotherhoods. Or ancient tablets, and we can get ancient tablets from going into dangerous glades. Um, brotherhood is fulfilled, I think, at the... I think it's at the, the tavern. I gotta be honest, though. We're not really in sight of any other... Uh, we're not really in sight of any other 
blueprint for now. Human farmer has died. How many freaking... 30% to global production speed. The villagers have a 3% chance of dying every... I guess, you know, it, it's a mathematical certainty that it's going to continue, that it's going to happen, right? But, like, flipping egg. I didn't really expect to see so many of these poor sods dying so quickly. Uh, we, we've suffered a horrific level of attrition. It's quite a lot of, quite a lot of death, if I'm honest. But that's okay. We're able to sustain ourselves... Uh, entirely with... Entirely with... Oh my goodness gracious me. Okay, this was a terrible, terrible, terrible idea. To take over time. Oh, it's nasty. A builder beaver. At least that builder beaver wasn't employed doing anything. Right, this should be a relatively short drizzle. Uh, it's gonna make everyone unhappy. Lizards are happy. Oh my goodness gracious me. That is wonderful. Look at all this. Look at all this. They're comfortable. They're happy. This is great. This is great. They're getting themselves jerky, apparently. That's that's wonderful. Oh, I suppose they are actually getting themselves jerky. They're they're making jerky. They're happy with it. That's that's good. That's good stuff. That is really, really good stuff. We got loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of insects. Everyone is eating jerky, apparently. So that's great. Uh impatience is growing. Impatience is absolutely growing. Um, and there is frightfully little that I can actually do about it because it is caused by Orbital's previous actions which are absolutely untouchable uh, by present me but it's okay we're getting a few more glades it's gonna get us across the line okay great what do we got here small distillery rainwater can now be distilled even more effectively gain four crystallized dew for every spark dew produced we don't have any spark dew produced a uh, 50% chance to produce double yield when under the effects of biscuits. Uh, we're going to take that because we do have the opportunity to make biscuits, even though it is a ways away. We don't have flour yet, but we will. We will have flour in time. In time. Mark my words. Beavers. Lots of beavers. Oh, five humans. Two beavers. We have to take two beavers. We need beavers. Come on. We need beavers. Right, let's get more humans assigned to do all of the farming stuff. Even if they are gonna, you know, die. Sucks, but we gotta we gotta pay the price. God, overtime is overtime it, it, it's toxic. It really is. Right, at least if we can get rid of this glades mission, right? That would be that would be a help. People are happy, though. People are happy, and when people are happy, this is good. What do we got? Root deposit. Small abandoned cache. Keep goods for six tools. We don't have six tools. It's worthless. A lizard firekeeper died because of overtime. Mm. Beginning to think that maybe overworking my population is... Uh, Foolish is probably a good a good way to put it. Foolish. Yes, very foolish. Also, let's get uh, let's get you to work there. Sure. A builder beaver died. Well, we're back down to seven beavers. Alright, we're about to discover a new glade over here. That's good. Oh my goodness, a beaver st It's un unwinnable. It's actually the worst. Actually the worst modifier of all time. Another beaver freaking died? Am I going backwards in terms of beaver population? Kinda feels like I am. Okay, good. Got another thing down here. Small abandoned cache. Let's go and have a look. See if it's any good. No, we need tools. Right. One more glade. One more glade to go. And the way that we do it is over here. Nice. Okay. 
it's time for some slightly less rain. And then we'll be good. Traders have arrived. Now, do I need anything? I mean, I could buy tools. If I was to buy tools, that would be that would be kind of nice. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else that we need. Amber would be would be kind of good. I mean, I should probably trade fabric. Twenty-seven fabric, or a whole bunch of insects. Kind of need insects, right? I'll trade fabric. Yeah, I'll I'll happily trade fabric. And then that's going to allow us to cash in some of these some of these missions. Sacks of flour, crate of copper ore, bundle of coats. Bundle of coats is not bad. Barrels of ale is also not terrible. I think we're going to go for uh we'll go for coats. Oh, sorry, I forgot. We don't actually have anyone that can do anything. Everyone is either dead or uh you know, occupied. Right. Anyway, the, the thing is, uh, I know now. Overtime is bad. I, I get it. Lesson learned. Okay, okay, video game. I, I've learned my lesson. I want to know how many how many people have actually died through through overtime. I, I suspect that it is a truly abysmal amount. I mean, that is a truly, truly, truly brutal, brutal mechanic. That is awful. Traders left the village. That's fine. Oh, there's some eggs here. There are some eggs. Is this almost up? Not quite, not quite yet. That's fine. There we go. Work on these trees. That is real cool. And get some more vegetables down in the ground. I mean, this is all very, very good. I mean, apart from the fact that every, you know, second person is apparently on death's door uh, through overtime. Uh, that's that's cool. We're, we're fine. We're fine. It's all good. It's all, all good. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about even slightly. No, it's all fine. All fine. All fine. Hey, look at that. Okay, we completed a... We completed this... Ancient artifact, plus three to global resolve. Nice. A little bit of amber, a little bit of pottery. That's cool. Queen's Impatience has decreased. And we've got the opportunity to pick up a thing. Lizard House. Uh, don't think that's super useful. Forager's Camp. Vegetables, insects, and grain. Uh, Reroll. Yeah, let's reroll that. Human House. Supplier. Lumber mill? We're getting a lumber mill, right? Like, we are getting a lumber mill. I think the supplier is probably... Sure. I guess the supplier is probably what we're after. But... Truthfully, not wholly convinced by that argument that I just made to myself. I just need more beavers. That's really... That's really what I'm after. I don't want to go to the dangerous... Uh, I don't want to go to the dangerous glades. I don't really feel like I have to. We're, okay, we've got one more glade over here to go to. Oh my lord. Very dangerous. We are forbidden from discovering it. Problem is, I don't think there's any other non-dangerous glades that are... That's a complete lie. Uh, there, are, there are a couple of non-dangerous glades, which we will... We will explore. Let's move our move our woodcutters camp around a little bit. Here we go. Cool. All right. Let's hopefully let's hopefully hope that this cycle ends at some point soon, and we don't have to worry about. Also, pack of crops. I need to get I need to get making packs of crops. Uh, jerky. How much jerky do we have? Uh, not enough jerky, to be honest. What can I slow down? I don't need to produce... I don't need to produce that many... I don't need to go to the stonecutter's camp. No. Okay, let's get, let's get a human to work on a pack of crops instead. Aid for the human clan, and then we'll work on trading goods after that. 
everyone is super happy, apparently. With the exception of beavers, everyone is, is super cool. I mean, even beavers, right? 66 out of 50 resolve? They're above the line. Like, they're, they're above the line. It's just that the queen is, uh, is unbelievably impatient. And to be honest, I, I haven't really helped myself. Taking overtime? Big mistake, buddy. Big mistake. Big mistake. Huge mistake. All right. Thankfully... The queen is hopefully going to give me something good. A shady but lucrative deal gain 10 amber every time a villager dies. I tell you what, I'm going to take that because that is freaking amazing. Uh, clay delivery line, don't even care. We go through villagers like there's no tomorrow. Lots of beavers. Please give me lots of beavers. Dear lord. Okay, I mean, this is slightly more advantageous because at the moment I feel like I need numbers rather than, you know, high quality individuals. Also, is that a... Who on earth built that path there? Who on, earth, who on earth was stupid enough to build that path there? That was ridiculous. Right. Okay, let's get another human in here. Where do we need... Where do we need people working? A bakery? No. We need two more beavers. We need one more glade. Apart from that... I think we're good. So we got the bakery. A human farmer died from something. Okay, it's okay. We've got replacements. Let's cash that check. Five pottery per minute and 25 amber. Very, very nice. We can also pick up this last mission here. Um, I'll take that. Sure. And we've got a blueprint as well. A tavern. A tavern. That's what we need, right? A beaver house? A beaver house would be good. But we're going to pick up the tavern. We're going to pick up the tavern. The reason that we're going to pick up the tavern is for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, it's going to increase everyone's happiness. Everyone's resolve, which is great. Brewery we're also going to build. Because we can. And we're going to make everyone freaking happy. That's right. You heard it here first. Everyone is going to be happy. Right, we should be making a lot of pack of crops, so we should be able to cash that real soon. Aid for the human clan. Resolve modifier, that's great. And a few extra parts. And then we need to focus straight up on getting a whole bunch of beavers. Scavenger's camp has no nearby deposits. What were we scavenging before? I think it was reeds, to be honest. We could scavenge eggs. We don't really need reeds, do we? Yeah, get that down there. Whoops. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, yeah, we don't really need reeds, given that we've got a an incoming supply of them. Sure, I'll assign a lizard to work there. It's not really a big deal, but it'll be okay. I really need this lumber mill. Like, I really thought that I would get this lumber mill a long time ago. Let's get another one of you in there. Uh, flower. Do we have any flower at the moment? No. We don't have any flower. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. Tavern Brotherhoods. Okay. Apparently, that's great. Lizards uh, religious, religiously believe that true bonds are forged in combat. Okay. Happy with that. Aid for the humans. Let's get it. And that's going to reduce the queen's impatience yet again. Which makes me happy. Now we need to get... We need to get both trade goods and the other one building materials. I think we're going to try and prioritize building materials, right? Yeah. The reason why is because we've got a whole bunch of fabric. It's not quite enough. We need a lot of need a lot of fabric. Furnace, carpenter, a lumber mill. I feel like maybe I just cut my losses and get a lumber mill right now, eh? Furnace? I mean, I really hate all of these. Coats, manuscripts, foragers' camps. Ugh, 
Give me a human house. I'm not going to build any of them. I don't think that I have the desire to do that, but I could. I just don't think it's really that worth it. It's going to take so many resources and without planks, which I do have a way of solving. Uh, of course, that way of solving uh, is currently gated uh, behind the, the, the chances of more beavers dying and me, you know, luckily enough, rolling a few more, a few more beaver rolls. Uh, Stonecutter's camp. Oh, yeah, we just have nobody working here. That's cool. We'll get one person over there. Grand. Let's replace you. Nice. Keep working on that. Uh, is there anything that we need? Uh, we do have eight tools, so we can use that for something. Uh, lumber mill, blueprint for a lumber mill, two code production. We could get some perks. I'll take it. I'll take that too. I'm not going to take the lumber mill. And a builder died from freaking working overtime. That sucks, but it, it is what it is. Right. Let's get you to investigate that. I think we should have... We do have a lot of tools, right? Or we do have a couple of tools. Three tools. All right, we had... I, I thought we had a few more than we actually do. But that's okay. Traders left the village. Everyone is happy. The good news is, is that freaking everyone is happy. And that's what matters, right? I think it's time. I think it's time to start... I think it's time to start brewing, right? It absolutely is. Let's get one person in here. Let's limit this to five. This is a three-star area. In fact, let's limit this to like 20. Yeah, this is a three-star area. This is exactly what we want to we want to see happening. The tavern is already in full swing. The bakery does need to be worked, but again, we need that freaking lumber mill, right? Stick it in four times speed. At least we're gonna be able to service the, the leisure needs of people who want to go to the tavern. That is a step in the right direction. Believe it or not. The fact that the queen is quite impatient is is making me, you know, all the more, all the more on edge, all the more attentive to what the heck is is going on. A human waiter died. Okay, well that was our tavern worker. That sucks. That absolutely sucks. Let's get you out of there and let's get somebody back into here. Yep, everyone's resolve drops when we are... Ugh, another human waiter died? <laughs> really? That is truly remarkable. The same person died twice. Uh, sure, give me the carpenter. Fine, whatever. I, I give up. We're, oh, we're actually out of fabric, so we can't even build that building. Great. Great. I mean, I, I, can't, even, I can't even pick up... I can't even put anyone else into the tavern now. There is nobody else that can fill the, the employment role. Okay. Good news is, is that we will get an order. Crown doesn't need to know everything. Impatience doesn't grow when villagers leave or die. Oh my goodness, that'd be great. The cost of knowledge can be very high. You can see through glades, but discover... Okay, no, this one, for sure. That's great. That's That saves my bacon, right? Oh, finally. We're going to be able to... We're going to finally, finally, finally be able to... Uh, to get that mission done. Beaver population is is satisfied. That's great. We need to we need to be satisfied for 30 seconds. That's it. 30 freaking seconds. All we need to all we need to worry about. Trapper's camp is I oh, want a beaver died. Woodcutter died. Of course. Because of overtime. It sucks so much. All right, there we go. Hey, look at that. Building the Citadel. Let's get that walk speed movement bonus. Very, very nice. Oh, that was our beaver. Oh, flippin' egg. I forgot. That was our freaking beaver, dude. Oh, my goodness. That's... <laughs> oh, that's so frustrating. Okay, you know what? Let's get... Let's get access to some of these areas. We need those ancient tablets. We need those ancient tablets, and we're not going to be able to get them unless we unless we start doing some stuff. Pack of trade goods. 
Uh, I don't even know. Can I make pack of trade goods? Supplier? Pack of trade goods. I freaking can, but I need to get a building which I have yet to build. All right. Things are going well. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to beat around the bush. Things are going great. Uh, the only problem, of course, is the fact that we are in a really, really bad place when it comes to actually using this bakery that I put up and also using the lumber mill. Hence why I'm actually going to build the carpenter because I'm sick and tired of building suboptimal planks. I mean, the recipe, by the way, five planks to two... Uh, sorry, five wood to two planks. The recipe at the... Where is it? The... Uh, this thing here, the crude workstation, is eight to two, right? So even this carpenter, which is only two stars, as opposed to the three stars that the lumber mill gives us, it's an improvement, right? It's a, it's a step in the right direction. All right, we're going to start felling these trees. We're going to see what the danger the danger is in these fields. Could result in death for my my poor my poor beavers, but I'll I'll take that chance. I mean, look, we're in a good place. We're in a good place. We're in a really really good place. Uh, also. This makeshift post can stop doing fabric. Because we'll start doing fabric here. Can do pottery as well. And we can do... I don't really want to do any of that stuff, to be honest. I don't really want to make trade goods. Lizard died in the smokehouse. Well, to be fair, I think the smokehouse has been one of the great success stories of uh, of this run. Beaver house, lizard house, or a herb garden. Uh, I guess we'll take a beaver house. Maybe in some twisted way I'm trying to make up for the fact that my beavers are my beavers are dying. I'm trying to I'm trying to fix it somehow. Human farmer died from overtime. Man, overtime is so bad. I am never picking it again. Oh, it's awful. All right, where's my other woodcutters? Woodcutters camp is here. Where the heckity heck is my other woodcutters camp? Oh, it's over, over yonder. All right, shunt you up here. Another beaver. Don't want any more beavers to die, but I want to try and get access to this. Uh, ancient tablet business. What do we got? Ah, okay. We got something here. Large damaged caver. At li large damaged caravan. Active effects. Discovering the remains of a caravan caused unrest in the settlement. All villagers have a 25% chance to destroy a production yield. People are afraid of whatever destroyed the caravan. Uh, fabric? I like the idea of fabric. Choose a reward. What do we want? Reputation points? I I would like reputation. I would also like all of this stuff, though. I'm going to send it to the Citadel. Sure. Uh, right. I don't think that we should be... Yeah, we're not consuming the packing materials. We're not doing anything with this. Let's just get you out of there, in fact. And let's throw... Let's throw more people into... Working in fabric production. Let's not make pottery for now. Yeah, so we will get there. It's just going to take a little bit of time. The beavers should be coming online soon too. There's a glade here, which actually does not require us to sacrifice anything. Minus one impatience. What did we get? Oh, we got the... Uh... Oh, no, we didn't finish that up. What the heck did we do? I have no idea. Right, a speed boost. Old manuscripts, fuel burns 25% longer in hearts. I'm not buying this freaking lumber mill. I've got this far, and I'm determined not to not to worry about it. Villagers are now able to basically run, because we've got three speed boost modifications, which is very, very nice. We've got 10 out of the 12 fabric here, which is very, very good indeed. And we are still moving forward. We've got so many plant fibers. Yeah, we got loads of plant fibers. So that's nice. We're going to get that done. Uh, trade goods. Oh yeah, we do we do have a need to do something with trade goods. Let's do let's do pottery. Sure. 
We'll do pottery. Is there anything else that I need to build? Uh, the tavern needs to have a tavern person. Supplier. We've got a supplier, obviously. Beaver houses, maybe a granary. Not really that bothered, to be honest, about a granary. I mean, the bakery's been freaking useless the entire game. Why, why double down anymore? We're almost done with the destroyed caravan. Uh, we'll assign another person to that. Don't know why I didn't do that before, but that's okay. Hey, and we did it. We actually freaking did it. What do you know? Uh, we we did it. Uh, I want to I want to do let me play for a little bit longer, but we are going to go to the world map in just a second. 60 experience points, 14 stockpiles, and two machinery. Uh, it was a little dicey. It was a little dicey at times. Not going to lie. Uh, we didn't really investigate any of these any of these things here. I maybe should have been a little bit more gung ho. 18 planks. That's a lot of planks. Uh, I maybe should have been a little bit more gung ho about going for the dangerous areas, but uh, to be honest, I wasn't really that bothered. Uh, beaver, beaver population. I am so disappointed that we didn't manage to fit uh, to fix this situation. That is unbelievably frustrating. Uh, let's move on. Yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want to remember about the beavers any anymore. That was so unbelievably, incredibly frustrating. That was. That was awful. Anyway, Orby Roots. Uh, Orbyville, uh, we've got some trade routes. Orby Roots. Uh, let's, let's, let's have a little look at what else is going on. Cycle Progress. So we are... We are uh, we are proceeding through the cycle, which is, uh, which is grand. The Smoldering City is looking good. Look at that. Trade routes that we have... That we have built up from previous... Uh, from previous levels and previous settlements have now gone into... Have now gone into here. Do we have the ability to unlock something? We do. Look at this. Obsidian Archive. A place where records about great viceroys are kept. Unlocks and deeds. Let's do it. Bada bim, bada boom. Thank you very much. That's great. What the heck is a deed? Oh my giddy aunt. Look at that. Discover 20 glades. How many of these can we track at once? Win a game with at least 35 villages. Can we track every single... Can we track every single mission? I mean, that probably just seems silly, but that seems pretty freaking good. Uh, okay, all right, this is, I, I see. That's a, that's a lot of stuff, that's a lot of stuff. Uh, there's more, there's more stuff to explore. There's more, oh, look at this. There's more valuable tiles over here. I'm very, very interested in that. Uh, trees are much sturdier here. Cutting takes longer. Uh, a lot of ruined buildings can be found nearby. Yeah, we didn't find any ruined buildings around, around Orbyville there, but that's, you know, not, necessarily too bad uh yeah there's a lot of there's a lot of good a lot of good areas for us to go here a lot of good areas for us to go probably worth us you know continuing to expand out uh but if we do that it's going to be in another episode because that is it for now ladies and gents if you want to see more of this game do let me know in the comments down below i've had a grand old time this is a really really good game against the storm uh, the game all about building cities. I love building cities. I, I love the I love the sort of meta strategy here. It's very, very cool. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. Thanks as ever for the fantastic support over on the Patreon page. Patreon.com forward slash show potato. Thanks to Banana and, and, and Aurelia from the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye.